Hi guys, so I just got back from California. I went to visit friends. I'm sure some of you saw that on Facebook. And um, the last time I talked to you, I, was, I think I was on this line right here, <laughs> on this bar. So uh, I'm, I'm coming at it with fresh eyes. It's been about a week since I last looked at this painting. Um, and I can't remember everything I said to you before I left, so if I repeat myself, I'm really sorry. Um, let's see here. So I was working on that one flower with a, I think the Carbothello, which I didn't put on your supply list, so don't be mad at me, but you could use any watercolor pencil or you don't have to at all. I just wanted to give you another, um, another technique, I guess. Um, so the Carbothellos are water soluble pencils. Um, so here's an example of it right now. I got it in a pack. Um, they're by Stabilo. I think of 12. I actually didn't mean to get these. I meant to get um, a different Stabilo pencil, but these are fun too. Um, excuse my voice. I was screaming on uh, on um, rides, you know, at Disneyland. Uh, and having a great time with my artist friends, uh, Stacia, Kara, and Angela. Angela didn't come with us to Disneyland. So anyway, so you can just, um, with these, you can have a little bit more control if that's something that you really desire and then kind of blend it out. I don't think I'm gonna use those, uh, the rest of the painting, but I just wanted to show you another way that you could work with those. Um, so let's see, I think I'm going to go in with the Posca pen. Remember we talked about the Posca pen? Um, and do some little touches here in the birds. So let's see if I can get you closer. Oops. A little too close. There you go. All right, so I'm going to go in. Um, I hope this doesn't feel this this lesson doesn't feel very re repetitive because we use the same kind of birds in the last lesson. Um, I just wanted to make sure to really keep it simple for some of our newbies that we've got going. And so this is really just building on what we've um, already done in the last lesson. The next lesson, I think we may try to do some realistic birds. Um, just to give you a deeper, some more content to the lessons. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna do our little, our little U shapes like we, like we uh, did in the last lesson. My Posca pen's kinda messed up right now. It went on the plane to, with me to California. And... Okay, I found another Posca pen um, in my drawer, so hopefully this one's a little fresher. So I'm just going in over my little wings here and doing what we did in the last class. So it's the same U shapes. Boy, I'm still not happy with this Posca pen. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and with some some white ink, which I do often. Um, you're welcome to try it, you know, to pick some up. I got this at, this is De La Rowney, um, acrylic artist ink that I got at Hobby Lobby. I love it. Um, and it's not like a pen, so it doesn't dry up. <laughs> Um, and so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing that you're doing with your Posca pen. I'm going to do it with the, with the ink. It does need shaking, you know, so that's what I'm doing. Um, they separate really easily. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my, uh, on my watercolor palette here. I use ink a lot with watercolor. Um, they work well together. Let's see, is this the pen I want, or the... Okay, 
So with the ink, um, I'll just show you the little splotch of ink there on my palette. I go ahead in with my paintbrush. This is a um, this is a liner brush by Simply Simmons. And with this, I don't quite make U's. I kind of make like a half a U, and then I start with the next with the next line with the paintbrush because because of the amount of control you have with the paintbrush in comparison. So it's almost like a I don't know like a round L shape or like a maybe a cursive U. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go through into that. You could use a, a very watered down acrylic white paint for this as well if you don't have the Posca pen and you want to use a liner brush. Um, the best way to get lines in with acrylic paint is to really water down the acrylic paint so that it's the consistency of ink. Okay, so and then I'm just going along the bottom line here for this little guy. I might just go ahead around um, his eyeball with white. Like that. And then I'm going to give him the little dot and line here to bring him alive. Um, let's see. I think I'll give him a little line down the center of his beak. It's a great way to clean up your lines a little bit too on your watercolor. Um, you know, a lot of times with watercolor, there are some hard, fast rules for people uh, that are classic watercolor artists and you don't use white at all. You just leave those areas blank. Um, but I'm not that kind of a watercolor artist, so I guess I'm a mixed media watercolor artist but I I do really appreciate that and if I can do that I do do that but I'm I also am not a big rule follower so um, I don't I'm not gonna get all upset about it if that's not what works out so I'm just going around this one flower here with some of my white ink that's something you would do with your Posca pen or uh, your thinned out watercolor, just giving it a little bit of definition. Here, let's get close to this guy. So I'm going to do the same thing with him as I did with the other guy. So I'm just going to give him some of these little cursive views. The ink gives you a less controlled look, so if you prefer that look, um, you may want to try that. And then I'm going to go around the eye and give it a little, the little circles. Um, I'll go around this little body here. <clears throat> so I had a really great time in Southern California. When Andrew passed, um, I went and visited my friend Jolie in Minnesota, and then um, I started talking to Stacia about going and visiting her in California you kind of get to a place when you lose somebody like that where you realize that life is is um, short. So I'm just putting in some definition here in the, in the center of the flower and that um, that you really need to live it to the fullest, you know, and, and do those things that you've been talking about for so long that you never necessarily know are really going to happen. And if you can find the opportunity to go and 
and do something like that, <clears throat> you should just take the opportunity to do it. Um, you know, I, I've become such great friends with these artists online and, um, and it was beautiful to meet them in person, uh, and to spend time with them and to talk to them. Angela created the, um, art auction for me after Andrew died for my family. And that was a, a beautiful thing for her to do. It was fun to meet her and to talk to her. We all went out to dinner and, um, and then I stayed at Stacia's house. So we, we stayed up super late at night and talked about art, talked about everything, talked about our lives. We had a great time. So I'm going back into this guy and we're just doing the same thing we did before. You might find that you have more control going in another, a different, a different facing direction. Um, for whatever reason. <laughs> I'm loving looking at all your work from the first lessons and, and how creative you all have been um, and the differences in styles and doing things different than the original but still super fun. With the paintbrush you're going to end up finding yourself with different strokes so they're not going to be super the you know, super perfect or just the same as the ones you did here. And that's okay because, you know, uh, every creature is is different. So um, it's actually more accurate if, if it's not perfect and not aligned. Just like you. We're all imperfect in our own perfect way. So going back into the eye. Oh my goodness. You haven't seen any of that. Okay. So if I clip out that part, <laughs> I just painted this guy and I forgot to actually move it so that you could see it. But I painted him just the same as I painted the other ones. Okay. So I'm going to go in here and clean up his mouth, give him a line down the center. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and um, add some lines in the flowers. So you can do that however um, however you want to with your Posca pen. You could keep it super loose like this if you want to. I'll probably fast forward through this part um, and just add some music from Casey. Uh, but I'm just gonna go through and just um, use my white line to add some definition here and just some different lines so. and take a little piece of me oh just a little piece of me to make me believe in the light you think you see cause I And 
take a little piece of me But you can't have all of me Cause I don't want you to leave And I don't want to change Oh, I